Well, for more on LeBron James' move to the Lakers and what it means for the NBA and professional basketball, I'm joined by Mike Baker, live from New York. He's a sports editor at DailyNational.com and a sports analyst for the Fox News Channel. Welcome, Mike. Thanks for having me. So obviously we hear so much about LeBron James on the court, but off the court as a brand, how would you describe his business model? It spreads across all tentacles of entertainment. Obviously he is a well-known, the most famous basketball player, the premier basketball player in the world, but he's also a movie star, starring in movies with Amy Schumer like Trainwreck. He potentially has a Space Jam 2 movie coming out, made famous originally by the man that he's chasing in this next level of basketball and celebrity stardom, Michael Jordan. He also has a production company that's producing movies and TV shows, a website. So he has his tentacles in all forms of entertainment, and this move to L.A. now puts him right in the epicenter. Before, everyone revolved around LeBron because he needed to be in Cleveland uh, playing basketball, so they came to him. Now he's going to be in L.A., and he's going to have all of those celebrities in the front row. He could take meetings much more easily. He could develop his brand much more easily. And it's really a move not only for now, for the present, playing for the Lakers, but certainly for the next phase, phase of his career and for his life. Now, it's interesting because LeBron James only opts into business partnerships when he'll receive equity in those companies. So what is he doing differently from other players in terms of how he structures his contract and the amount of leverage that he brings to the table? Well, I think the leverage that he brings is his success on the court and off the court. He's not a traditional endorser where, you know, you, you turn on the TV and you see him endorsing a car, you endorsing a soft drink, and then the next year, uh, you know, you see a different celebrity endorsing that same uh, drink because it's a one-year contract or a two-year contract. Like you mentioned, he gets a piece of the actual product and the brand, and he helps that brand grow because what he's looking for are not endorsement deals. He's looking for business deals. He may endorse a product to get a business stake. He's looking at the long-term game. He's trying to become the first billion-dollar athlete. He's chasing the likes of Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan uh, when it comes to those. But one of the role models that he may also have is someone like golfers like Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicklaus, where they've created this second wave to their name. Their name is is their brand, much like Michael Jordan was able to do. That's what LeBron is looking to do. Further his playing career on the court and then use that, leverage that in his 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s to become a global icon and a brand. And he's certainly been a very savvy investor, because if you're LeBron James, you know that you're doing something right when Warren Buffett starts praising your financial skills. So what yeah. lessons can other athletes take away from how LeBron is managing the business side of his career? Well, I think one of the lessons that other athletes can take from LeBron is there's only one LeBron. So many athletes, uh, you know, focus off the court more than what they're focusing on the court. You know, LeBron was able to do the majority of these things because he excelled on the court. He won on the court. He's been a winner in the, with the Miami Heat, um, an amazing historic upset victory with the Cleveland Cavaliers against the Golden State Warriors a few years ago. So he is a winner above all else. But what I think most most people, there's only one LeBron. So if you look to emulate him, even like players like Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, James Harden, who have uh, a similar idea to do what he does, LeBron is so far ahead of them. And the long game for him is much bigger than someone like Kevin Durant or even a Steph Curry or even a, a James Harden, because what he is doing is really for the future. Those athletes right now are of the moment. They're neck and neck with him in terms of endorsement deals and endorsement money. But what LeBron really has is that end game of the business mindset, creating his own corporations, partnering with brands, creating his own production company, so on and so forth. He really has it all tied together looking towards the future. And speaking of the future, as we look at the outlook for LeBron's brand globally, we've seen Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tiger Woods, and others continue to cash in after their prime or retirement for billions of dollars. How mm. does he sustain that? What is his outlook? Well, the, the outlook for LeBron really needs, he needs to turn from a athlete and a basketball icon into an, what you may call a, a sort of design icon in a way that Michael Jordan has been able to do. His release of his shoe from the Jordan brand is as big of a deal as when LeBron releases a, a shoe now, or Kevin Durant, or, or Russell Westbrook, or even Kobe Bryant. Michael Jordan hasn't played basketball since 1998, certainly had his, a few years of a comeback with the Washington Wizards. But that's the type of legacy that LeBron needs to create. 
Can he actually do that? Is there space in the marketplace, considering how big and how explosive uh, basketball stars have become? Is there uh, a marketplace for LeBron past his playing days? That's really where he goes into the next echelon of, uh, of endorsers, certainly with his lifetime contract with Nike. That's something that they hope that they're going to be able to do with him. As of right now, he's the top dog when it comes to shoe endorsers, but can he sustain that throughout his non-playing days to become a fashion icon as well? That is the question. Thank you so much, Mike Baco there of DailyNational.com. Thank you.